What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's vlog is going to be Charizard DX taking second place at Rated E Locals here in Wichita, Kansas. Guys, the Locals was uh, kind of smaller than usual. We're able to get second place. We'll show you guys the games. We'll show you the deck profile. and Also, we'll show you all the prizing we got. And so stay tuned with us. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, support us. And uh, yeah, we're trying to grow and get better at the game. So get better with us. Let's go jump into the deck profile and get ready to watch some amazing games. Let's go. All right, guys, here's the Charizard DX that we took with us to the locals today. Rated E for Arvin, really strong, really amazing, especially for the maximum belt we can draw into it. Iono at two, uh, no need to explain there, really good disruption. Uh, it's necessary for the deck because we're not running unfair stamp. Toe Boss, really, really strong. I think two Iono, two Boss is a very, very strong combination. One, two row, if we get stuck or if we have a lot of damage on the Charizard, we can just move it for, uh, away. Hide it. Briar, really strong, late game to end games uh, at three uh, prizes. And then Thornton, if the opponent can deal a lot of damage and remove my board, Thornton will bring us back to the game by allowing us to Evo that same turn with a Rotom. Then we play the four rare candy, very standard, four body poffin, very strong. Search four nest ball. The search is amazing. This deck and three, uh, sorry, four ultra ball and three nest ball. Search is absolutely amazing. Two super rods, very necessary. Two counter catcher, very strong. Pull it out with the Arvin if you need it. Nice stretcher at one. Defiance band at one. Maximum build at one. This is testing. It's very good against raging bolt, but I think we already have a really strong matchup against raging bolt. So. We're probably going to not need this, but yeah, just testing it today and then a force seal stone, of course. One collapsed stadium, just uh, for fun. And then here's our Pokemon guys. Two Duskull, one Dusclops, one Dusk Noir, two the Pidgeot EX, two PGs, two Charizards only, one Charmeleon. And then 370 HP Charmander's, very, very strong. You never use that first attack anyways. One Rotom, one Luminion, one Radiant Charizard. Kalefa is really good if you're going second, it allows you to draw. It's not necessary though, you can remove it if you want to maybe get another nice stretcher. Especially if you're playing Prime Catcher, but yeah, Kalefa is there. Fizzendipity is very fun, very nice. And then, yep, five energy with one miss. Miss energy is very good versus Roaring Moon. We have a Roaring Moon, the local, so we're gonna have to use it. And yeah, guys, that's the deck. What do you guys think about it? Leave a comment down below. Can I do better? Can I do worse? What do you think? And yeah, let's jump into the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Tell me what I should do next, what deck you wanna see. And yeah, have fun. All right, guys, so for game one, we went versus Goldingo. We were able to go first. We needed just one body puffin to activate us. Besides that, we passed. Our opponent was only able to set up one gold, uh, Goldingo in the back. Really couldn't do anything else. And because we went first, we are actually doing a little bit better than the Goldingo. We are able to attack early and take out that Greninja on the board, which is a huge resource for him. Unfortunately for the opponent, all he could do was Evo into one Goldingo. And couldn't even get a big attack in, so he just was kind of stumbling in there. And from there, we were able to set up our dust calls into dust clops and start taking out big prizes. And the opponent was just not able to come back, honestly. As you can see, once we remove his goldingo on the board and get the two prizes, we have the dust clops in the back. We have another Charizard set up already and the Pidgeot there to do everything we need. So we were pretty much about to end the game the opponent really couldn't do anything except one big attack at the end unfortunately for him we were able to seal the deal very early game two was a little bit more risky for me we did not get a good bench we were only able to set up one nest ball and so we had to make a decision was it the charmander or the pidgeot we went with the pidgeot since we we had a pidgeot ex in the uh, in the hand and we didn't have anything else so if we went to charmander would have been nice, we would have had the Charizard, but then we would have, I believe, been completely stuck with that Charizard. And if the opponent removes it with the Roaring Moon, we couldn't do anything else. So therefore, we went for the Pidgeot. Fortunately, the opponent was able to set up a full uh, Roaring Moon with the Prime Catcher, take out the Pidgey, 
and set us a little bit behind here. Thankfully, he has a book stop. He left it there. He didn't want to. He didn't want to remove it, and that's gonna help us out a lot because this book stop is gonna hit, and it's gonna allow us to get some. I believe is an ultra ball. Yep, ultra ball rare candy, which is huge. Actually, we picked up. Yeah, ultra ball rare candy. We only lost Charmeleon. And from there, we gave him Radiant Charizard so he can pick it. But I believe he's going to boss in the instant charger, the Rotom. And so he's ahead now. He's ahead three to six. And we need a way to come back. Now, I'm going to show you guys one thing. This game completely once I go into my Charizard. As you can see there, he's taking my Rotom. And he's going to be able to remove it and kill the Pokestop. But unfortunately for him, my hand is complete. My bench is set. He is at three, so he's very far ahead of me. But I believe we can come back and I'll show you guys what happens here. So we move into the Bigia and there it is. We drew into the Mist Energy. That's the thing that's going to really save us. We drew the, we went into Pidgeot EX, set up a Charizard EX, and we also gave energy to the Radiant. Now that the opponent's at three, we are actually able to attack with it. Then we gave the Mist Energy to the Charizard EX and you can tell the opponent immediately changed his demeanor. And... <laughs> I can feel the opponent is a little bit weary now. Now we are able to actually attack into the opponent, take out one of his pieces, and uh, his Roaring Moon cannot actually retaliate into us. The Mist Energy is going to save us, unless he has boss, uh, which he already used up a lot of resources, Prime Catcher and boss. Unless he has those, he's going to stay behind. Unfortunately for him, all he could do is one Calamity Storm, so he only did 200 damage to us and then passed. We're able to just keep thinning out our deck, search for the things we need. We are running Maximum Bell today. I already showed you guys the deck list, so we are going to try it out. Now we have a full set of Radiant Charizard. We have Charmeleon. We have a Duskull. And the Charizard in the front is going to attack. We are completely set up, and I believe we are in a much better position now than we were <laughs> one turn earlier. And the opponent, unfortunately is going to realize that he cannot actually get another knockout. The boss is not in hand. I owned him really early. And, um, or I think one turn earlier, I owned him so he couldn't actually get the pieces he needed. All right, this is the final game, game three for first place, guys. Unfortunately, I really do believe I misplayed a lot in this game. We start with the Fizzendipity on the front. Not a great look, but we were able to pop in Body Poffins and Nest Ball because we had Arvin. We went second. Uh, with the Body Puff and Nesbo, we set up everything we need and we can instant charge. And that's how we were able to Evo into the Charizard. Unfortunately, guys, I believe the opponent, we could not KO him. And so all we had to do is leave some damage on him, which he's going to be able to use against us. Because all he had to do is retreat his Raging Bolt. And now his Myriad Leaf can KO our big Charizard. And I believe we should have tried to go after his Myriad Leaf Blower, but uh, we just didn't have the bossing in hand and we needed a lot of pieces. We're going to move the Pidgeot forward. Unfortunately, our hand is very bad. We're going to go ahead and bench this Dusk Duskull and then Iono and see what we can do and maybe come up with a better hand. But this hand is very bad. We can't fizz in Dipity, but we have to Iono first. It's going to be a rough game for us, guys. So let's see how this Iono gives... Gives uh, everything except rare candy. So unfortunately, we cannot Evo this turn. It's going to set us one more turn behind if he can actually boss in our Rotom. And we just could not deal with it in any other way. We did have the Thornton, but we had already Ionod. And yeah, as you can see, all he did was he Fizzendipitied our... Or he bossed in the Fizzendipity and KO'd it. Now we, our Charmeleon was able to go into a Charizard, but I think it's now too late... We can remove his Myriad Leaf Blower. We can get with Briar uh, maybe an extra prize, but it's just so far behind. We need to get that Myriad Leaf out. And unfortunately, even after we do get rid of it, get rid of his Raging Bolt, his other Ogre or 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 Pawn was there. All right, guys, now we have the pricing to show you. So we were able to get $8 of store credit and this pack. So with the store credit, we were able to get some pieces. Let me show you guys. The glass trumpets, which are very strong now. Some enhanced uh, hammers. The enhanced hammer is absolutely sh amazing. Gives you the ability to remove one special energy. Very situational, but very good. The hand trimmer, very cool item. I forget exactly what it does. A couple of ultra balls to finish my Sarah Luge deck. Some, uh, some, some of these items, the ones that give you 40 extra damage if you're poisoned. Uh, just for maybe an okie dokie deck and then the Colrus's Tenacity, this can be really good in gouging fire 
and we actually got some mag magma basin for gouging fire as well i really like that deck and we might have some potential now to open this pack let's just open it together guys let's see what's in here all right missed energy not bad <laughs> my savior salvatore is going to be very important sir luigi professor's research the future, a Dodrio, this is like $7 card, and uh, one basic fighting energy, which I'm going to need in Sir Luch. But yeah, guys, that's surprising. Interesting in your opinions, guys. What do you think about today's videos? Tell us how we can get better. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.